Hi, this is Mr. Schaefer. I want to talk with you about the Apple School Manager, the DA Managed Apple ID, Apps, iCloud Setup, and Apple Classroom. We started to use this last year, so some of this may not be new to you, but I did want to highlight some of the features. First of all, DA will create all the School Managed Apple IDs. It will be your username at school.da.org and a four-digit passcode that we will tell you. All the apps will be delivered to the iPads using that student um, managed Apple ID. Teachers will be able to use the Apple Classroom app on their iPads. More about that in a little bit. Basically, students must leave Bluetooth on. All the required apps, such as Evernote, G Suite, things of that nature, are already installed. Students will only need to download teacher required apps that are not part of the required apps that are already installed. We'll also be able to distribute ebooks and the digital device passport. Why school managed Apple IDs? Um, the biggest thing is that you can back up the data from the iPad to iCloud Drive. There is a feature that allows you to log in to iCloud from any computer although you will need to use uh, a six-digit PIN that we'll have to tell you if you ever need to do this. We use a Wi-Fi signal to find your computer on campus. There's a note, Find My iPad is no longer available. If you lose your iPad and on campus, you should let me or the DA Office of Information Technology know, and they may be able to find it on campus. If it's out of power, or it's not on campus, we will not find the Wi-Fi signal. Purchasing of iBooks, you could enroll in iTunes U courses and allows us to actually manage your accounts much better. Your managed Apple ID has been created for you. Again, it will be your username at school.da.org and your Apple ID is only to be used for your school issued iPad and you should not share accounts with siblings or parents. You can share the information, but do not share the accounts. It is just for your school issued iPad. Of course, we had this last year. Launch any app, take students to a website or a book, lock devices in to a single app in order to help you focus, lock screens, see an overview of every student screens, perform actions on entire groups. Now in order for this app to function students must leave Bluetooth on. If students turn Bluetooth off it will be considered a suspect behavior and could result in an acceptable use policy violation. Leave Bluetooth on. That's it for now. Thanks for listening.